think uh, I'm really pleased that we're celebrating 100 years of council housing. It made a massive difference to not just my life, but um, thousands of people across the whole of the UK. And I'm really pleased as a council that we're embarking on the largest council house building program for 40 years. And I hope it will make the same dif difference to people in the future as it did to mine and other lives. You know, I think if people have as good a start as we had in life, I think it can, can only be good. I have lived in, I was born in Ely actually, in a house in Stanway Road in Ely, and I have lived in a council house most of my life. I've lived in Butte Town for 54 years, in this particular council property. I've lived here for 50 years. I was born in my mother's front room of a council house in 1950 on the Cabalver Estate. I've lived in Lang Romney for a total of almost seven years, but for the last four years I've been in this lovely council bungalow. I've been resident here for 15 months now. And I must admit, it has changed my life quite dramatically since uh, since moving here. For seven years, I lived in a caravan with my husband, and we had the two children there. And of course, then it got too small, so we had a council property from the council in Lanedin, which we were there for two years, and then we had to transfer back to Cairo because that's where we all all my family lived. And from then on, that's that's where I've lived in a council property for 53 years. So that's the main reason I, I have a council house because my husband passed away 20 years ago so we couldn't afford to buy, I couldn't afford to buy. Uh, when these were being built, we watched them, myself and my sister as a small child and then it turns up when my father said, oh me and your mum, we're gonna look at a new house, a bigger house, so that instead of having to share a bedroom, you'll have one bedroom each. I thought, oh, fantastic, my own bedroom. I don't have to put up with her no more. It gives you the opportunity to turn the house into your home with the knowledge that the Cardiff City Council look after the property. And I love the fact that Cardiff City Council try and do so much for you now, such as Tenants Participation Group. We never had that years ago and I think that is really helps the people because we can talk about things, we can become involved um, and they set up opportunities for the community. I was renting a property from a private landlord via a housing association but the landlord decided he wanted to sell. I went to the housing help centre and they offered me this which I snatched their arms off for. <laughs> of course the front garden is looked after by the council. I've had a lot of help, I had a lot of support. Last year I had a period of illness, I was in hospital twice I've had help from the um, welfare team. They've been very supportive, very helpful. I came here basically because uh, I went through quite a, an acrimonious divorce and found myself at uh, quite a low, a low web. So I'm ever so grateful for the council to, uh, for finding me accommodation. Since, since coming here, uh, I've tried to integrate myself as much as possible into the way of life here. But basically we are a little community here. We've tried to, well we, we have formed uh, the Worcester Court Gardening Club and most of the residents join in in one way or another. As far as possible, we try and integrate everybody, um, all the residents here and they're quite welcome and the council also encourages it to, to involve their families as well, families and friends. Of course, um, Ely was, was part of this great vision of creating homes fit for heroes. And I believe it was the 1919 Housing Act actually gave local authorities like Cardiff 
the palace to build council housing. And, and I lived on Grand Avenue, but sorry, not Grand Avenue, THE Grand Avenue. So that's, I think that demonstrates the vision that the, the, the city housing and planners had at that time to create this green field garden city suburb with splendid names such as the Grand, the, the Grand Avenue. It was stable accommodation. We just thought it was ours and it was ours to live in uh, for as long as we paid the rent and kept to the tenancy agreement. We didn't have to think about whether um, we were going to have to move again. Having lived here now for the best part of uh, 18 months, um, really enjoyed myself and I would thoroughly recommend that uh, anybody who is searching for rented accommodation um, gets in touch with the council. After all, they've got 100 years experience now in accommodating people, haven't they? And I say, get the name on the house, housing list and maybe they can land up in a place like this.